हेलो गाइस दिस इज फैसल पठान आई एम डॉट नेट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर एंड फाउंडर ऑफ द कोडस डॉट कॉम एंड वेलकम टू माय ब्लेजर वीडियो सीरीज सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन होस्ट और डिप्लॉय ब्लेजर एप्लीकेशन ऑन आईआईएस सो स्टे ट्यून लेट्स स्टार्ट सो गाइस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग डिप्लॉयमेंट टू आई we should know about what is ias so basically ias stand for internet information service which is a web server software package designed for windows server and it is used for hosting websites and other content on the web microsoft internet information service provides a graphical user interface for managing website and associate users i already created this project in the previous video using the my blazer template so let's run in the local first so we can see how exactly it looks like If you want to see how we can perform cloud operation in a two minute, you can follow the my pre previous video. I already added link in the description, so you can refer from there. So this project we created in the previous video and it's still working. As you can see, so now we are going to host this website on the IIS. So for that, first we need to stop this application. go to control panel this option from control panel click on programs max maximize video from here you need to click on this the turn windows feature on or off just click on it and let's find out internet information service this one you need to check all this option as you can see it's already checked in my machine you can see this all option should must be checked and once you checked all the thing just click on okay so it will install the required files so to host the blazer web application to iis we need two thing first is dot net core hosting bundle and second is hp dot net core runtime which you can download from this url i will add this url in the description so you can visit this url from here you need to install uh, this installer size 6486 based on your version and this hosting bundle i already downloaded and installed this both thing so i am not downloading right now so after install just go to your visual studio if you want to host your application just open solution explorer and right click and click on the publish from here you need to select uh, i will create a new profile so you can see how i can i created this publish profile you need to click on the folder and from here you need to select a specific path where publish files will be created so i am going to use this default path which is the bin path bin folder path just click on create profile and just click on the publish and let's wait to finish this publish method so publish done just i hope i will open this url to see my publish folder thing so this is my publish files for the blazer application now i will open iis you can just press start button and type iis you can see internet from the service click on this let me maximize from here you can see there is a site folder from here you need to right click and just click on add website site name will be blazer hosting you can apply any name as per requirement or whatever doesn't matter just click on physical path i can see direct i can use directly path which my publish where my publish files are created but i need to set a, a required permission so i don't want to do that so what i will i will do i will simply go to c drive and i need pub which is stand for internet publish click double click and then click on www root and i will create one folder namely blazer blazer hosting and just copy it all files from here and paste inside this folder Just click on Admin Privilege. Just click 
keep on continue so it's done now from this side from this thing from this thing from this thing select your physical path from c drive from internet publish folder then www root and select our folder where we paste the published files click on this thing pleasure hosting and just click on ok just select your specific ip or you can also select all on the sign and default port and just click on ok and that's it now let's route this thing so we will continue so by the way wow. hope you guys found something useful please give your valuable feedback comment question about this video in the comment section i will answer as soon as possible and you please let me know how you like and understand this video and how i could improve thank you so much guys